Memories cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. What's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Amanda and I'm so glad that you're here. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe before you leave. Today's video, we are doing a Torrid haul. So I went ahead and did a lot of shopping on Torrid's website. I love Torrid. As you know, it is now the summertime, and in summer it gets really hot, and I live somewhere where it gets over 100 degrees on the daily. It's super hot already, and it's terrible. So, um, being that it's hot, I decided that I would go ahead and buy some shorts. So the first pair of shorts that I have are all Bermuda shorts. I am not a fan of booty shorts, shorty shorts. If that's your jam, that's awesome for you. Go ahead and live your best life. But for me, they give me chub rub because I have chubby thighs and that's just not comfortable for me. So when I wear shorts, I always wear Bermuda shorts and Torrid has really great Bermuda shorts. So let me show you the first pair of shorts. So this pair of shorts is obviously a Bermuda short. Most of my shorts, as you'll see, have a distressing on them. I am a person that likes distressing, whether it's just a regular distressing, but I prefer a distressing that has a patch behind it because then your foot doesn't go through the hole and doesn't mess up your really expensive pants or shorts. I mean, it's not a light wash. It's not a dark wash. It's more of a medium. I did get these in a size 18. I did gain a little bit of weight since I've been back from Hawaii. I haven't been back on keto. I've been living my best food life. So I'm like a pretty solid 18 right now. They are made out of 98% cotton, only 2% spandex. They're not super stretchy, but they're not not stretchy. It's just like a little bit of stretch. The one thing I like about these shorts a lot though, behind the distressing, there's like cute little patch and the patches are red white and blue so these are supposed to be like for fourth of july but they're not so like boom in your face that you can't wear them like all the time and then i like how the bottom has like a more frayed edge these ones are the eight inch short forget me not backing and they're in a size 18 and they were 48.90 the next item that I got is in a really, really pretty color. I've been really feeling like the pastel-y kind of colors for like spring and stuff, but then you can kind of bring it into summer too. And so I really liked this purple. And so it is this really pretty like pastel-y, like lilac-y purple tank top that crisscrosses here in the front. It's just a normal tank top. I did order it in a size three. For me, towards tank tops, I feel like run really, really tight. I'm not one for like the clinginess of tank tops. So if I'm gonna wear a tank top, I kind of want it to be like a little bit looser fitting. It was $18.90 and I think it's really pretty and I got it to go with like some kimonos. So I'll show you the kimono that I've got to go with this top now. So this is the kimono that I bought to go with that purple tank top and it is in a size one, two. I will say sadly that it runs really small. It's really annoying. There is no stretch in kimonos as you probably realize. So I wish I would have sized up to a two, three, four. It goes one, two, three, four. These ones run really small, like in the back and in the arms. It is so pretty. It has like flowy bell sleeves. And then the pattern on the bottom, like look how pretty this is. It is so adorable. I love the colors. But it's not too tight to where I can't wear it. I've already worn it a couple times, but it's not like super comfortable, you know? I gotta be careful with the range of motion that I do because, you know, I don't want it to like or rip or something it's so pretty perfect for spring and summer and you can wear it over like tank tops and stuff and just be super cute this kimono was full price which i'm not a huge fan of paying full price for things but i really loved it and i knew it was gonna sell it and it is sold out so i was actually when i got it and i saw that it was kind of small on me i actually went on the website to see if i could find the three four and they were already sold out it was 38.94 that's what i paid for it the next item we have is more shorts this ones are in a light wash they're pretty similar to the other ones not a whole lot of stretch in them they have just stressing just like the other ones but these ones don't have the patches underneath the distressing. So just gotta be more careful that your like feet don't go through when you put your legs in. They do have a raw edge here on the bottom. I really like a light wash. I'm used to only ever wear dark washes, but as I get more comfortable with my whole body, I've just decided that I don't care and I'm gonna wear what I wanna wear. And so I decided to get a pair of light wash Bermuda shorts. They're tighter than I'm used to in shorts because most of the time I buy shorts that have like a lot of stretch in them. They are like really constructed well, so they're not gonna like stretch out like 
normal shorts would with a lot of like stretch in them. If you want something that has a lot of stretch in it that's gonna fall down once it stretches out even more or you want something that's a little bit tighter but it's not gonna fall down all the time. I don't know, you guys decide. The next pair of shorts, this is my last pair of shorts, are a dark pair of shorts, so that's interesting. I got a light pair, a medium pair, and a dark pair. These ones are my favorite out of all of them. These ones actually are a lot of stretch in them. They're a lot stretchier than the other pairs. Are super dark wash, which I really like. I think they look more flattering on my legs. And like, I don't know, I just think they look nicer, but that's just my opinion. They are pretty much the exact same pair as the lighter wash except for they are darker. They do have real distressing, so you have to be careful when you're putting them on. They do have a frayed edge here on the bottom. I just think they look really cute with different outfits. I love the Bermuda shorts from Torrid, so definitely check them out if you haven't. And these are also in a size 18, and they were $29.34. Up next, I went ahead and picked up a couple of basic t-shirts. I don't know if you've ever tried any of the basic t-shirts from Torrid, but they are super, super comfortable. These are like one of their super soft tees. I got one in white. This one is a v-neck and I really like their t-shirts. I do think they run a little bit like tighter their t-shirts because I am big chested. So like if I don't go up a size, then they run really tight on my chest. So I did, I did get this in a size three. It is a little bit too baggy for me, but that's all right. I would rather be baggier than tighter as you'll see in the footage it is a little bit baggy on me i like the length of the sleeves it like covers up that little bit of like arm chub that you don't want to show and i really like it it's always good to have like a basic white tee to go under things always a good basic to have in your wardrobe the white t-shirt was in a size three and it was 16 14. the other t-shirt that i got is almost the exact same t-shirt as that white one except for it is in this really pretty like pink color i don't know i'm not good with like colors i'd say it's pink it is also in a size three it's baggy just like the other the white one it's a good length i just really like the color of it a lot and i feel like it can go with a lot of things in the summer and i have a lot of pieces that have floral on them and i feel like this can go with a lot of my floral items that i have so this one was also on sale for 16 14 and it was also in a size three as some of you guys know i've been on the hunt for something called short alls I've been looking for overalls that would fit me or short alls. Short alls are just, you know, overalls, that, but they're short and not pants. So I went online and I found these short alls. So these short alls are actually made of like a linen fabric. Look how freaking cute these are. So like I said, I have a lot of florals. I've been into florals lately and like either one of those shirts, the white one and the pink one will go with these short alls. They are a little bit baggy because I got them in a size three, but they are amazing they are so comfortable they have pockets they are adjustable like the actual overall part is adjustable by like the little it's kind of like a bra strap but it has those little things that can tighten them i love how they fit i would have loved it if they would have had a pocket right here in the front on the chest but i mean that's nothing you can really complain about i don't really put anything on the pocket but i thought it would be like a cute touch i've worn them so many times i'm obsessed with them like so many colored shirts can go with this so many colored shoes i mean like the sky is the limit with these so if you haven't picked up these you definitely need to they're more like a wide short so they're kind of baggy but they look so adorable you definitely need to pick these up if you like short alls and none of the overall ones like that are made out of denim have worked for you try these and they also have them in like different colors and stuff so you need to pick these up go online right now stop what you're doing and go pick these up because they're awesome the next item that we have is actually a pair of shoes so I have been on the market for a pair of mustard shoes and I finally found a super cute pair. I'm not really one to buy toward shoes very often. They do run a little bit big for me because I don't really have very wide feet. So I went ahead and picked up these mustard heels that have like an open toe and then just a little bit of a thick heel, maybe like an inch and a half of a heel. So you still get like a little bit of height, but it's not super like uncomfortable. They're actually super comfortable heels. The only part that's kind of uncomfortable is the toe part. So I think my foot's a little too wide for the toe part, but hopefully they will stretch out in like in time. I can wear them for like a couple hours and then I seem to be okay. But more than like two or three hours, like my toes are like going numb. Get these in a size seven and a half. Pretty much any outfit that has mustard in it looks really cute so like i really like to pair this together i think it is a really cute combo so the next item that i have is another t-shirt 
This one's not a super basic t-shirt. This one actually has a floral pattern on it. I actually think I tried this on in a torrid inside the dressing room recently. I got it in a size two, it fits really nicely. It does have a pocket here on the chest. It is a v-neck and I really like how these t-shirts like fit my body. They kind of like flow nicely and kind of hit you know, all the places you want them to hit, but they don't cling to like your stomach and stuff. Even though it is white, I think it's very flattering because of the cut and because of the pattern on it. And I think it's really feminine and cute and pretty. So this looks really cute if you wear it with some jeans. It looks really cute with jean shorts, black pants, anything. It just looks really cute together. So I'm glad that I picked up that t-shirt. That one was $16.14. So all of their tops were pretty cheap. The last thing that I have for you is another kimono. This one I'm kind of sad about. So I actually ordered this kimono. This one was clearance. And I like it because it's kind of like that wrinkly fabric. So you don't really have to like iron it. You can kind of just like throw it, at, like wrinkle it and throw it in a bag and it's still gonna be cute. It's like that fabric that wrinkles no matter what you do so you might as well just wear it wrinkled. But the one thing I can say I'm kind of upset about and I'm actually gonna have to fix it is because it's one of those kimonos that like the sleeves are just barely stitched. See how it's just like a little bit of a stitch right here? It's kind of like one of those ponchos that you throw over but it does have armholes. But the stitching is perfectly fine on this side. I only wore this once and it's really baggy so there's no reason for me to like rip a stitch. The stitch right here is like almost completely unstitched and it was stitched all the way to here. So I have to go ahead, run this under my sewing machine. I think it's really annoying that sometimes that happens with something that you're gonna pay, that you pay a lot of money for. So like toward stuff's not cheap. This kimono was $21.99. It's super flowy. It's really, really long. It has really long slits in it. It covers your butt so you can wear it with leggings if you want to. I feel like it's a really nice, like flowy piece that you can kind of just throw on when you're feeling kind of fat that day and you still look really cute and put together. So that was everything that I had in this torrid haul. What was your favorite thing that I bought? I think my favorite thing for sure has to be the short alls. I'm obsessed with these. I wanna wear them every single day. So if anything that you guys can pick up, definitely check out their linen short alls or overalls because they're awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe before you leave. I post here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I post there every single day about plus size fashion and makeup. I will see you in my next video. And as always, remember, be your own kind of beautiful and toodles for now. 